Oh, well, you're handsome. Sorry. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hate to have to make this video, but I do, so here we go. Um, Winston was attacked yesterday at camp, at our camp, uh, next to our van on our rug, um, by an acquainted dog that came into camp and just took Winston out, uh, unprovoked. In April 2020, April 27th, 2020, when I was living in an apartment, a dog jumped over a wall and attacked Winston on the sidewalk, <laughs> and we were just existing. Now, in that dog attack, um, it mauled him. It ripped him to shreds. He was ripped in half from armpit to armpit, underwent life-saving surgery, and then underwent reconstructive surgery. Um... In that case, there was a lawsuit and I won because animal at large laws in Arizona are very serious. So if your dog leashed or not leashed, I don't want, I don't need lawyers and dog trainers and all these people tuning in on this video. Uh, leashed or not leashed in Arizona, if your dog attacks another, damages property, you as the dog owner are responsible. Trust me when I say that the owners of the first dog that attacked Winston learned the hard, expensive way. Yesterday was much different, um, even though it was another unprovoked attack, Winston was just standing there. Um, but he was not ripped in half, he was injured and wounded and we had to go to the emergency vet. He has a puncture wound in his ear, lacerations below his ear, and swelling and bruising around his neck and his ear. But the difference is, the owners of that dog are good people. And they are equally devastated and heartbroken about what happened to Winston, and they paid the vet bill. No hesitation, I didn't even have to ask, they paid for his medical expenses. These people took accountability and took responsibility for their actions, which is not something that happened the first time when Winston almost died. So I really want to distinguish the two attacks. Um, domestic dogs can turn in an instant. And this was a smallish, medium-sized dog and um, it somehow felt threatened and it just it turned on Winston and, and it happened very quickly and he wasn't doing anything Winston's not a barker he's not he just he's Winston is a very well-trained fearless confident dog and unfortunately now he's been the brunt of two attacks so he's on three medications the doctor was very pleased that he didn't need stitches. Most of the wounds are superficial. Um, the hardest part is the trauma because we've been through this before. Um, the other hard part, it's weird, it's like, it's, it's almost harder that the people, the owners of the dog are as sad and upset and hurt as I am. Right? So when you have good people who take accountability and responsibility and are actually willing to help and step up and take care of the situation, it's almost harder because I'm not like super like angry and resentful and like hate these people, you know, kind of like the first attack where, I mean, those people were just terrible humans. So, you know, there's a big difference. Um, but I shared in my Facebook group and I shared on a community post and I don't need people coming at me with legal advice. I don't need people coming at me with dog training advice, especially because my dog is perfectly, perfectly trained. <laughs> like, and so I don't want anyone to accuse me of doing anything wrong because we were literally, I was sitting right here. I was about to get out of my van. Winston was right outside here, right outside of my door. And like, that's where the attack happened. So, um, 
I just don't need anyone's advice. <laughs> I don't need anyone's advice. Um, the situation with that dog is really not my business. That's their responsibility. That's their thing. I'm focused on me and Winston. And um, now his recovery. I really didn't want to share it originally because um, it's just such an awful, freak, tragic situation. But now he has a hole in his ear and a shaved ear and a shaved neck and a shaved head. He kind of looks like a little bit of a ragamuffin. And to be honest with you, I'm just really freaking sad. I am a freaking mess. Like, I've had a difficult 2024. This year has been challenging for me. I have faced a lot of challenges. And this just adds to my pile. And when it comes to Winston and the fact that he's my everything, him being hurt, especially as such an innocent being, it just, it breaks me. It absolutely breaks me. So when you see him in videos the next couple of weeks, you know, he, he, I think he'll have, I'm, I'm confident in a fairly quick recovery. The doctor was as well, or is confident. He just needs to rest and be on medications. And, um, normally I, I give myself so much space and I like to camp by myself because I want me and Winston to be safe. And so I figure if I'm far enough away from people, um, it won't, it's safer that way. Um, but then when you're, you're camping like with a group of friends and you kind of invite other people in, you know, you want to give people the benefit of the doubt especially when they have dogs and they're good people and they're nice people. Um, but sometimes you just don't know, like sometimes like things can happen and like that really sucks. That really sucks. So I'm feeling a lot of emotions. Um, I'm just looking at Winston right now as he's asleep. Um, I gave him his pain medication this morning, so he's tired, but, uh, but his, the swelling has gone down today. He got really good rest and, um, I talked to my mom this morning and she just wanted to come get me. Like it's been so windy and it's been rainy. And my mom was like, I'm coming down. I'm coming down there. I'm going to pack up your camp. <laughs> I'm going to bring you to my house and all this stuff. And I'm like, no, like we just need to rest for a day. And tomorrow we will make our way back to the house and we'll be there uh, for a little bit to give Winston plenty of time to rest and for me to have time to refocus and reset because since it has been a difficult year for me and now dealing with this and bringing that trauma back up because I've, I already have a fear of dogs from Winston's, from that first attack against him. And so I'm just not processing it fully right now. If I'm being completely honest, I just have so many sad heartbroken emotions. So like I said, I, I just need uh, support right now and love. I don't need anyone's advice, especially legal advice, because I've been there. I held those first people accountable because they didn't want to take responsibility for what their dog did to mine. So I legally forced them to take responsibility. But with this, Again, these were these are good people. So they paid for the bill. And I can almost guarantee you that if something else were to happen to Winston or he were to get infection or we were to incur more medical bills, they would take care of it. No questions asked. So I don't want anyone to attack them as people. Um because again, they're doing everything they can to help and checking in on us and keeping that open line of communication. And that's, that's 
really more than I could ask for, especially because the first attack against him didn't go anything like this. So I'm very grateful. Um, it's still, it's not, like I said, it's almost harder that they're such good people because I'm not like, you know, harboring like all this like anger and resentment and I'm not like lashing out. It's just, it's sad for all of us. It's sad for all of us involved. So I just need love and support um, while Winston heals. And while I kind of figure out what my next steps are, I don't really know what my plans are after this next week, but um, it's just reminding me that I just need to be, I don't know, I don't even know, because we were just chilling. So it's like, I don't really know what I could have done differently because we were just at camp. <laughs> um, so that's what happened to Winston. And, um, but he is a tough cookie. He's a lot stronger than me. And I know that we'll, uh, we'll get through it. We always do. So, um, please keep it kind in the comments. Uh, keep it kind. That's all I can ask for. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.